I love the fact that, that you had this amazing lion costume. How'd you decide on that costume? Well, in the beginning, when I had one of the first couple meetings, they had, you know, a bunch of pictures of all the different costumes, mm -hmm. and that one immediately was the first one. I just said, look at this thing, it's so cool. I, I just, I was immediately drawn to that one. Maybe because you have a tattoo on your Well, that shoulder. and also, like, I'm a Leo, and yeah. so I just, and just all the gold, I thought it looked also super strong and mm -hmm. confident. I loved the whole kind of gladiator vibe of all of it. Was it a nod to your, like, fan, because you have a big family, was it kind of a nod to your family and your strong it's, it's family? It's so funny, or... there's so many things that people connected to yeah. it or asked me if I chose it because of this, that when I picked it, I it, I didn't even think about it. No. But later I went, oh yeah, that makes sense, that <laughs> totally works, yeah. Nick Cannon told me that he thought the lion was the most extravagant costume. Oh, he thought it was sure. he did. He thought it was the most expensive looking costume. Yeah. So what was one secret about it that you could tell us that maybe the public wouldn't have known about the costume? It was so heavy. Yeah. It was so heavy. The mask alone itself I think was 10 or 12 pounds and then that huge big fur cape I was wearing was probably 5 or 6. My gosh, you were getting a yeah, workout. Yeah, literally by the end of it I just wanted to curl <laughs> over. Um I don't know how you guys did it. I have no idea how you kept it so secret, but you did. Good I, job. I tried. It was hard. Was it? Did oh, yeah. your family know? Did you tell your mom I, and dad? I told my family, okay. but immediately, as soon as it started airing and people on Twitter started guessing maybe it was me, I had everyone was coming up to me yeah. and asking, and I'm trying not to lie, obviously, because I don't want to just <laughs> flat out lie to people, but I can't ruin the surprise, yeah. so I was trying to find a balance of not giving it away. I can't, I couldn't imagine you couldn't have told your sisters. You guys are like oh, so close. Yeah, I had to tell them. You know? Absolutely. Was, were they so super proud of you, though? Yeah, they were really that. excited. I was doing this show something that was, you know, kind of important to you, that you, that you held close. I just thought it was a crazy idea. I, mm -hmm. when I originally was sent all of the stuff and the promos about the show that they had done in Korea. I just was, I, I was like, what, what, what is this? Was this it an immediate crazy. yes or were you like, hold on? I definitely had to think about it yeah. because I wanted to figure out, is this right for me? How are they going to do it? Obviously the show worked over there, but how is it going to go over here? But at the end of the day, I just thought it was a fun opportunity to be able to sing without anyone's maybe prior judgments yeah. or and and that's what's cool about it is it was just solely based on your talent not mm -hmm. about what people know about you because I think sometimes just because of the world we live in yeah. that can cloud it even in a positive manner or in a negative way. Okay, so here's the part of the interview where I am the overthinking woman about all this. <laughs> <laughs> because there, I do feel like that it's a bit of an emotional journey doing this show and that reveal <laughs> is, a mo is a bit of a moment, like an exhale. Am I wrong? Not as much for me because I would have happily waited a little yeah. longer to reveal myself, mm -hmm. but um, I was telling my friends, I was like, I'm happy to be the Jennifer for Hudson, we obviously have seen how well that she Seven has done place. in her life. Exactly. You know? you I was like, I have no problem. <laughs> but I, it was just fun for me mostly because at the time, obviously, the judges had, yeah. they were so far away. And, and I think that was a cool surprise that just to be able to show them that. Did your folks have a, fav a favorite performance? I don't know. I actually haven't even asked him. My no? favorite was definitely the the Lady Gaga one. Yeah, it I was good. That song. Very, very good. Um, how do you think that your family would do on this show? <laughs> like your mom and dad, how would they? How would they do? I think that they would do great. My mom's actually got a great voice, and my dad too. I would love to see what my sister Scout do it because she's got an incredible mm -hmm. voice as well. Did you guys all watch together? Did you have like? Um, sometimes. I was mostly just watching later and then sending them clips or something. Yeah. I know you said you told your family, but anybody else? Did you tell anyone else? I tried really hard not to because I think, obviously, it's it's hard sometimes for people, for things once you, it's like mm -hmm. once you tell one person, it just goes everywhere. So I tried to really just keep it to my family. How many of the other contestants did you know and do you think? I had no idea. You know? they, they wouldn't tell us. No. No. So you still don't, I mean, you just know who's been revealed up until now. Yeah, and, and even, so say I was in the studio mm -hmm. that day when we were filming, when the person was getting revealed, we weren't allowed to be there to even oh. watch to see who had been revealed. Right. Because they didn't, because the show wasn't airing yet. So it was, I mean, it was so secretive. It yeah. was like, I felt like I was in the secret service or something. <laughs> Did you have an idea though when you started watching the show, like, okay, I think that's this person, or I think that's this person, or were you right? Well, uh, uh, the same with 
you know, how my name kept coming up mm -hmm. on Twitter, all of the people that so far have been revealed, everyone has been guessing yeah. so correctly. Yeah. I mean, I, I feel like maybe for next season they're going to have to tone down the clues because people got everyone exactly. so fast. Exactly. And how do you, I feel like too next season, I mean, it was so hard this year keeping it. How the heck do you keep it so secret? I don't know because that's the thing. We were so secretive already, and, but no one knew what we were doing. Now. I, I have no idea how they're gonna do it. So you weren't allowed to watch the other performances and like try to guess or? No. No, you couldn't see anything. And even when we were backstage to so say on a day that we were shooting and maybe there's four of us there, I'm not allowed to talk to any of the other mm -hmm. contestants. And so you and say whoever you brought with you that day, even your family who you brought, right. had to wear masks and hoodies. Oh my God. And I had to wear, a sweatshirt that said, please don't talk to me. And then had this big, you know those like bad golf visors that people <laughs> wear? And it, uh, and then I had to put it over my face. It was crazy, That's it was crazy. So fantastic. I thought, I really did think that you would go further. I thought you might make it to the finale. I really yeah, did. I you know. Well, you got a great voice. <laughs> Thank you. I mean, you really did. Would you, was that your goal? Like, at least let's try to get to the finale. Absolutely, and I was so bummed because I had such a cool performance for mm. the last one. I was gonna do Total Eclipse of the Heart, and we had this amazing, all of these incredible backup dancers That's awesome. and had this, stage that was gonna raise up on this thing and so then they told me that and I just that was the part that I was the most bummed for even if I didn't win or make it to the end yeah. I just was bummed that I didn't get to do that performance because I love that song that song is and it, it would have been so cool that would have shut it all yeah. down for real okay here's what I think they need to do like remember on American Idol they would bring people back for the finale they totally need to bring you back and let you do it exactly who do I, I need was to like, call please just let me do the song I don't have to win whatever who do I need to call to make Robin Thicke, get you on the phone. Yeah, let's go. Nick Canning, you're the executive <laughs> producer. Get you on the phone. Um, so not everybody knew that you had such a great voice. Now, will we get some music from you? Absolutely, yeah. yeah. I'm working on an album right now, and I'm, I'm hoping to have it done by the end of the year. That's the goal. Yeah. Did you have people come up to you and be like, holy cow? And, you know, of course, because they thought you were. Like, I didn't know you had such yeah. a great voice. That's been the coolest thing, is seeing the response, especially on, on social media, of so many people just being so supportive and, and so excited and going, I had no idea you can sing like that, but I'm such a huge fan now. So that was a really cool part of it. And the judges, some of the people they guessed, who knew you were a member of Destiny's Child? I know! Kelly Rowland, like, Michelle you. Williams. Yeah. When they throw out names and put you in that company, I mean, what is that? How does that oh, make you feel? I was so feel? excited. I'm just standing there silently in my mask, just like trying not to dance. I was like, yes. You can say Beyonce next. Yes, <laughs> I was like, that's fine. Thank you. I love that. Um, so, so if you, you know, has anybody, like any of your celebrity friends said, maybe I want to do it? Would you like try to encourage anyone? Or who do you think of your friends that would really do well? Oh man, I don't know. I mean, I feel like anyone who maybe isn't necessarily known for being a singer mm -hmm. right away, I think would be really cool because I think sometimes it's easy if you're known, say, for being a singer and people can recognize your voice. Mm -hmm. But if it's not something that people necessarily know you for, I think that that would be a really cool thing to yeah. just go and surprise people. How did you rehearse? They just set blocks of time. How many days a week did you do it when you're yeah. when you're prepping for the show? Well, we shot all in a month. The whole show? The whole show we shot in a month. So it was, I mean, the first time I ever fully had my costume on and was able to practice singing was the day we shot the first episode. So it was definitely a learning experience That's wild. and kind of throws you for a loop because I couldn't see past here in the mask. So, and I'm wearing really, really tall, almost Gaga boots. And so I was just praying every day that I'm not gonna fall over. So like over. your vision literally was just right yeah. here. Like you couldn't look exactly. down and Exactly, and you see forget anything. how much you rely on that when you're walking forward, if you're taking a step down. If I needed to look down, I fully had to tilt my whole entire head down, and I had no peripheral vision, so I have to turn my whole body to try and see. Would you like, if they said, hey, remember you want to come guest judge, or ju would you oh, want to judge sure I would the guest show? Judge. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, I love that. Okay, so when can we expect this music, by the way? You're working on an album. Yeah, right? hopefully, hopefully by the end of the year. That's my goal. Okay. Yeah. All right, Rumor <laughs> What's the genre? Well, I grew up listening to a lot of 
jazz and soul and, mm -hmm. and blues. And you definitely got a soulful voice. And so I really want to try and find a way to integrate that into what I want to do, but in a modern way, very along the lines of kind of how Amy Winehouse did it. Ooh. I think that she really did such an incredible job of almost creating her new a new genre of mm -hmm. that kind of music. And so I haven't quite figured out exactly how I want to bring it out. And honestly, wouldn't want to limit myself by saying, oh, I'm going to do pop or I'm going to do jazz or whatever it may be and just kind of see how it ends up happening. Well, I do need to ask you because there is news today about a member of the Empire family mm -hmm. and you, of course, were on the show. When you heard the news, number one, that Jesse had been arrested, um, what did you think about that? And then the, the subsequent news that apparently this was orchestrated because he was dissatisfied with his salary. I mean, look, I, I haven't been on the show in, in a while, in almost over a year, but I think for me, my immediate reaction was I'm just I'm just really devastated for everybody involved. I think it's just, it's it's really tough. But for me, the most important thing that I hope comes out of all of this is regardless of the outcome of this particular situation, I really hope that this put, doesn't put a damper on people, A, willing to stand up and advocate for victims and for us all to really continue to rally around the LGBTQ community and, and all of that because I think that that's important not to let any situation like make people then not want to speak up or make people not believe victims. I think that that's, that's really my huge takeaway. How do you reconcile this situation when someone you know? You know, I'm, I'm not in a place to, and I, as I don't think anyone should make, make any judgments just yeah. yet. And I just think, I've, like, I think nobody can really know what's going on except what's the, the person, you know? And I think I'm, yeah, it's just, it's a really tough situation.